Hello everyone. Welcome to part 9 of the Cityville construction project. I suppose I should probably mention for people that aren't really familiar with YouTube, if you subscribe to my channel you can get notifications when I put up a new video. Uh, that would be an excellent way to keep track of when these uh, videos for Cityville are appearing. Okay, last time around I filled in this area here and extended the industrial area over on this side down. Um, apparently it's still loading a bit. Okay. What I'm going to do this time is actually extend this highway uh, past the uh, trumpet interchange here and uh, it's going to drop down to being an avenue type road here. What that means is I'm going to widen it to three lanes each way through here and this will need to turn into some, into a four four-way interchange instead of a three-way one. That means this existing trumpet setup has to uh, vanish and the uh, main road uh, and the, well, not the main road, but the uh, four-way structure needs to be in place. Now, theoretically, a clover leaf would work, but those done properly are rather large. And this is not exactly a large space to build an interchange in. So what I, what I need to do, since one direction doesn't need to be free flow, like over on this side doesn't need to be free flow, and I have space over here, what I can do is arrange for the movements coming this way to be free flow and the movements coming like this to be free flow but the rest of it doesn't need to be so or I could just put a make a, a sort of diamond interchange and have this highway drop down to non-highway spec right at the interchange that might be what I do uh, I'm not sure what's going to fit well here. The other thing that's going on here is, as you can see, the terrain is not exactly level here. Uh, if I put the grid on, it's a little bit more obvious. Uh, you can see here there's quite a bit of uh, sloping going on. Anyway, uh, the first thing is there's going to be four lanes, two lanes each way coming across the main highway here. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to level out this, I'm going to demolish this interchange here actually and uh, level out the uh, area because it's going to be a lot easier to sort out the uh, interchange with level ground and then I'm going to actually construct the overpass part with the avenue and, uh, and, and so on. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to pause the simulation while I do this. Um, while th the, uh, there's really nothing over here that this highway accesses, I don't want to mess up the uh, traffic bit, and this could take a while to construct as well. 
So it's better not to just simply not to have the uh, simulation using up resources while I'm doing this as well. So first step is to demolish the existing interchange. Now I need to pick a level for this to exist at. Uh, as you can see there's a general downward slope from north to south here so I think I'll pick the low point here as the level. So uh, this is RHW8 uh, so it's two tiles plus a one tile median does that line up? Yes. So that's five tiles for the main road. So now I'll level this out back some distance. I'm not worried about having a, a hill on the uh, main highway. Uh, this will can be leveled out quite easily. Okay, now the main, the crossroad comes down here, so I'll level it out back a bit here. Okay, and it will need to come out this way for a bit as well. This is uh, a pretty much bulletproof way to get a dead level. Uh, area the it's known as the as uh, placing road dots and it, it pretty much guarantees you'll have a level area to work with and once you have a, enough uh, roads parallel usually three or four uh, just dragging the road is enough to uh, do the leveling. Now, of course, this only works if your slope mod is letting you place a road in that particular slope situation. I think this also works out to be cheaper than uh, using the terrain leveling tool. I can soften out these uh, steeper slopes later once I finish the construction project over here. Okay, now that I've got an area to work with, I'll clear out the extraneous stuff here. The first thing I'm going to do is build the highway through, the main highway. just to keep things relatively even here. Uh, okay, that's marginally better. Uh, now, this has to go across here. By placing the uh, highway bit in the middle there while making the slope, I ensure that both directions of the separated uh, highway 
uh, travel at the same um, on the same slope. Okay, so what do I need here? Okay, I think Hmm. Well, that's this is an interesting uh, problem. I previously had a free flow interchange, though it wasn't particularly big. Now I'm going to be potentially increasing the amount of traffic through the interchange. I absolutely need to keep this road free flow. And I think this one should also remain free flowing. So I could build a clover leaf, but I think that might be a little bit too tight. But maybe not. Maybe I can tr I can mess with some of those quick change pieces. What are what are in here? Uh, uh, where are they? Quick change pieces. Okay, so I have. No, I don't think that's quite what I want. I don't think I want to park low here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take... I'm going to put a an extra carriageway through here on the RHW8. And I'll build a, a cloverleaf type interchange here. So that means I'm going to leave a, a space here just so that I don't have a huge track where the bridge has to go over, where I can't place any starters to fix override issues. At least I think that's what I'm going to do. No, maybe not. Okay, so that's good. this is going to be an MIS here. And this is going to be MIS. Then I'm going to have, let's see. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to need
Okay. Actually, I think... No. Ramps. Transitions is what I'm looking for here. That's not what I'm looking for. That might be what I'm looking for. It means I have to have No, that requires level a level two bridge, no. I uh, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to do some experimentation here and see what I can do with these quick change pieces. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Can I demolish? I can. I can get a 90 degree level transition or 180 level transition there. And then with a flex curve is level two. No, that doesn't work. No, I'll go for a larger interchange here. Okay. So, that means I'm going to bring the RHW4 all the way across here. So, what I need is, well, let's see. On the north side, I'll use an earthen embankment. Okay. No, that's not the one I want. I want these. Whoops, that's the wrong one. There we go, that's the right height.
Okay. Now. If you're wondering why this is four wide, it's because I'm also going to have a collector um, uh, um, weave lane there. Okay, so. Flex height. Two, three, four. Okay. Now. Okay. This has to come across. Now, on this side, yep, I'll do the same here. Okay. And I want a 7.5 raise. Three, four. And out here. And I forgot you need an extra space here. So now I need a trend. Whoops, a transition again. Height transition. Whoops, I need the flex height. There we go. Okay. And of course, I need starters over here. Okay. So far, so good. Now, I need to sort out the ramp setup here. First of all, I'm going to save this with the bridge in place. Now, I need, and we'll go with the flex ramps here. So what I'm going to have, I'm going to have RHW4 coming across on these bridges. That's a weave zone. And I'm going to have MIS coming back to the uh, main highway here. So I need, which one do I need? I need, uh, which one do I need? What I need is to widen this one tile. That's what I need. Okay. Now I can put the ramp in. Uh, now I haven't actually planned this interchange, so this could be uh, somewhat uh, exciting. Yes, I think that's the one I want to use. Whoops. And if I put it there, yes, that overrides it. Good. This comes along like so. This comes along like so. Okay. Now the question is, can I bring this around without having issues. First of all, I think I'm going to need this. Okay. Now, I need a corner. 
curves. And I went the wrong way around the tab ring. And I have here a 45. And that missed. Okay, curves. That's a 45. That didn't. Okay, so this farm is in the way. See if it fits. Ah, that doesn't quite work. Or does it? Okay, back this up. I have the same situation here, so flex ramps. Hmm. I kill that. Flex ramps. Uh, it was here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. I'll need to move this up one tile. That's not a big problem. Uh, the whole reason for that is because of the asymmetrical uh, sizes of the highways. Okay curves right Interesting. Okay. <sighs> Curves again. Where are they? Curves. No. Curves. Oh, those are the wrong direction, too. Okay. Curves.
Okay. Ick. Let's try that curve again. That's a little better. Now, uh, flex ramps. Okay. That is pretty much where it has to go. Ooh, it does connect. Nice. Oh, and that one did too. Good. Okay. And that's going to have to be a filler. Okay. The other ramp will come along outside here. Okay, so... Now I know exactly where to build the loops. Still looks wobbly, but um, we do what we can. So, a filler. Goes in here. There we go. That's one cloverleaf ramp. With earth ramps instead of elevated transitions. Okay, so I'm going to need to level things out for the other ramp. Now, ideally, this would just trundle along straight across here. And I'll do that along here. But along here, I don't think I have enough room for that. So I may need to uh, bend it uh, a little bit there. Anyway, the other... How close can I go? That's as close as I can go. Okay. Now, where would this bring me? Yeah, that's not going to work so well. So I'll bring it up this way and then over. I think. First, I need to link things up over here. And this slope isn't back far enough. Okay. 
range so I can see. Oh, I need to drop those ones as well. Okay. Now, this has to come out here. Okay. What I have need of flex ramp. And okay. And this will continue back. This can go up the hill. So Okay, and then I'll bring it in over here. Is there a flex ramp for it? I need a an A2. Ah, that's the one I need. Yes. No. go for a classic ramp here. No, that's not what I want either. No, I'll do it that way, okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do.
No. I really want to keep four through lanes and exit two, so I... I really... I know how. I know how to do it. Okay. I've got it now. Okay, let's see. First off, I need flex ramps. And I need this one. Okay. Then I need that other one. The eight S. Right. Now I need a width transition. Width transition. 4S to 6S. No, I need to back this up a bit. Okay. Width. That's the one I want. And I'll back this up here. Okay. And I'll back this up. And one more flex ramp. Like so. Okay. What? Why won't it build that there? Probably a slope thing. Yep. Okay, then that links up, these go down the hill to here, and then I merge them back together here. Uh, flex ramps again. Like so. And that, people, is how you work around the lack of ramps. Basically, I'm imagining this stretch here is really one carriageway, but with the lack of the dual exit leaving an 8s that's just about the uh, only option okay i'm going to save that now now the problem is over here What I can do is I can come up the slope here and then have have it bend back around and I th or I can just bring it straight across and eat into the industrial area there. Either way, this has to go. And I really need to level this a bit. however you slice it a lower 
level to come up is going to work better. Okay. Now, let's see how this does. Okay, slope-wise it's okay. I have to get rid of this. And a little bit more here. Okay. And again with the leveling. This continues. And I need my ramp piece here. Okay. Flex ramps. Oops, I gotta back that up a bit. Okay. Flex ramps. There we go. Ah, this one's too close. Okay. Really? Okay. I know somebody's screaming at their monitor saying, but if you do this, it'll work. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, blink it up, blink this one up, come back a few, and now I need my ramp here. There we go. And so be it. I have my RHW6. I'll have to clean up the slope there. And this ramp changes. Okay, where is it? like so. There we go. Uh, this is easily fixed. Okay. And I can connect up the straight through here. Okay. Now I have the basic sizing of the interchange. Um, which means I can build the rest of it basically using this side as a template.
<sighs> this is going to be a long process. Okay, now for this side. I'll start with the exit. That's the one right there. And I'll link this up. And I need to change this ramp to this one. And I didn't go back far enough. Okay, well, let's see. Where is it? There we go. And I need to bring, whoops, bring that through, link that, link that. Okay, clean up that. Now, the straight through connects up. Okay, now I need the lane split. That's that one. Uh, yes, that's the right place. Okay. And I come along here. I need the lane split in the other direction. Yeah. Right. I needed to level that some more. Okay. And we'll try this again. that's in the right place yes it is okay now I can bring this across This is fun. Okay, so the whole point of doing this is so there's a single exit, a single merge point. All the weaving in the interchange takes place in this weave zone here over top of the bridges, but it doesn't interfere with the through traffic. Okay. the slope on this. But that needs to stay locked if possible. Okay. Okay. It has
has to come around to there. Okay. Dope. Okay. Now I gotta put that back in. I should save this before it crashes. Now, let's try building the curves. Curves. And I'll do them the right way around this time. Wait a minute. I can't see anything while I'm doing that. What I should do is start from the bottom. First of all, you need to know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 for the split point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a placeholder. Okay, so I need to move. And flex ramps. Okay, there's my split. And is that the right split point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not. That's wide enough right now. Curves. Make sure to put the curve in the right way around. There's a curve, there's a curve. There's a curve. There's a curve, okay. Now, link that up, link that up. That's a filler. Okay. Whew. Actually, where does this get me? Okay. Let's see. Apparently, it doesn't get me anywhere.
So that comes along. And I need to lower that a bit. And that comes up. Okay. Let's see if the the ramp fits in there now. Oh, Got to be able to see it. That's the one. Oh. Maybe that'll be enough. Flex. That's where it needs to be. Okay, link that up. And that. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. back did that go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to have to mess with the rail bridge, too. Uh, width transition. Because I'm going to have to put the split back over here. Okay. This side needs it as well. So, there we go. Oh, I had a median there, right.
Now I need to fix the rail bridge. At least with the rail bridge, it makes that a little more plausible having the split there. Anyway. That's half the interchange. I'll put that filler in while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Clean up the placeholders. Okay. <sighs> well, I think I'm going to call it a part here because it's still a fair amount of work to complete the interchange here. So, uh, first up, save it back to the region. Okay then, that's it for part nine of the Cityville construction series. I'll see you all for part 10.